Hey guys, how's it going? This is Supreme and welcome back to another video on my channel in which I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm up Zenkai Raditz. It's the first extreme that's gotten a Zenkai Awakening in the game and he's actually very, very good. So, let's get into it. This is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. This is it, Saiyan. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today! I'm sure everyone has got this Raditz at a lot of stars and uh, it's very important that you guys get this guy Zenkai Awakened because if you don't have Namek Goku at a lot of stars or if you don't have Margin Vegeta, the LF Margin Vegeta, you're going to be in need of a very good blue unit on your Saiyan team and this guy could fill that spot. He is actually very, very good and uh, the way you get him is actually um, pretty easy, guys. All you have to do is go through this whole event, uh, which is very long. It does have a lot of stages. It has some... Um, 19 stages you have to go through here um, as you can see it is incredibly long but you don't have to do all the challenges on it which i do recommend doing them but um if you just want to get this thing done you do not have to do the challenges yet you just uh, go through the event once and get to the end here where you get the daily one here which gives you a hundred uh, awakenings e power every day uh, you can just skip ticket past that after you've um, completed it one time and then the the way you get um Awakening Z power for this Raditz basically is just spam, uh, spamming skip tickets guys. This is all you have to do on this last stage um, It's the last stage of the event and all you have to do is just spam skip tickets and use up your energy to get the awakening um, Z power for him and as you can see you get about 70 60 to 70 about um, is, is you know the average that you get every time you go through this and uh, As you can see obviously I have him 14 stars. He's a very old unit and I have him halfway to Zenkai 2 um, so this is pretty much all you have to do in this event to get this guy um, leveled up. Of course, you will need a lot of souls and super souls to um, get him to 1014% max soul boosted. Um, it is worth doing it. You know, there's no rush. Um, you know, you can take your time with this event. It is, um, you know, it's not going anywhere for a while. But you know, it's good to get it done because um, there are a lot of crystals to be um, farmed up from this event because they do give you the first time clear rewards again. Uh, obviously there's been a, a rehaul of this event and uh, now that it ha has been reset you basically get all the first time rewards again and as, I, as I'm saying this I'm just going through this maybe we can get him to Zenkai 2 right now which uh, shouldn't take too much longer um, but he is a very good unit on Saiyans he, um, he's going to be doing a lot of damage I obviously have Margin Vegeta um, so I'm going to be using him instead of the Raditz, but the Raditz is a very good alternative if you, if you don't have that unit. And I do recommend farming, start farming him up because he is a free unit. He's going to look good in your box as a Zenkai 7 unit. Um, and you can run him alongside the Zenkai 7 Kid Goku to have you know a Zenkai 7 duo if you want to on Saiyans, which is a very good duo. And uh, yeah, I just think this guy is a very good uh, addition to the game. Something that I really wanted to see in Extreme Zenkai. Hopefully we do get more, which I think we will. And if they carry on doing this where they're free to play, I am completely down for it. Because uh, this guy, I haven't used him yet. Of course, he's only at Zenkai 1. I will be um, fully maxing him out, like I said, because just why not, you know? And you don't have to s just spend all your energy tickets and your uh, skip tickets to do this. You can just wait until your energy tank refills and then do it... Um, whenever you feel like it kind of and we should be getting close to Zenkai 2 right now I don't know what's taking so long um, but as you're seeing we're getting between 70 and 80 and there we go there's Zenkai 2 on Raditz uh, yeah between 60 and 80 odd um, Z power every time we um, we do this so there is Zenkai 2 on Raditz it didn't take too long and I basically have to do that five more times to get into Zenkai 7 um, yeah it's pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, and as you can see, I did unlock a mission there, and this is where the uh, the thing that, that's most important to me came into play. Uh, the amount of crystals you can get from this event. You get Zenkai Souls, you get Z-Power for the Raditz if you don't have 14 stars. Um, you also get a thousand crystals from this event. Um, I haven't redeemed anything just because I thought I'd show you guys yesterday I was farming this. And all I have to do is KO 18 more characters and get him to Zenkai 7 and I will unlock the last 200 crystals. But right now, I can redeem this uh, for 800 crystals, loads of souls, blue souls, uh, blue super souls, Zenkai souls, all sorts of stuff. And I will get 800, 800 crystals, which will push me to 4.3k, which is very, very nice. And um, actually, once I finish this, uh, very, very cool, um, this actually. When I finish this event and I get those 200 crystals and I finish my 
um, Ultra Space Time Rush, which obviously reset, which is another 500 crystals, I'll be able to get my Android um, 18 up to uh, Zenkai 5, which is very important, which is something that I really wanted to do. And not just those 1,000 crystals, guys, but there's also, like I said, 19 stages in this event. If you clear every challenge of this uh, event, you basically get... Um, there's 17 stages that will give you 31 crystals per stage, so that's a total of 527. And then if you clear these two right here, this stage here, and the daily stage, the first time you clear them, they will give you 71 crystals each, which is a total of 142, which is a total in the whole of the event of 669 crystals. Add that onto the 1,000 you get from the missions, 1,669 crystals from this event and not just that um, you get a Zenkai 7 unit for free so that is very very good 100% worth um, clearing this event uh, very easy as you saw all you have to do is just spam your skip tickets and I think this event is a is a very very good one so yeah I've got to say GG because almost 2,000 crystals from one event is not something we get very often guys it is very very good that we um, that we got this and uh, I hope that we get one of these, you know, one a month would be very, very good. If they could give us at least one a month, that would be great. I'd be really happy with it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, happy with the game and how it's going at the moment. I think uh, they're taking steps in the right direction. And um, I do think that we're going to be getting a huge update at the end of this year. So um, what I would recommend doing with these crystals that you're farming up from here is just save them. And don't uh, you know? Don't touch them unless you've got Zenkai Seven Gohan. Go and spend on the hybrids banner. If you have him, you have to spend on this hybrids banner on Goten and Trunks because you're just going to make that Gohan even more ridiculous, and uh, you're just going to have a team that will last you until until the end of the year when we get this this big update and all these big stuff that are going to be coming out. Because um, Toshi did say that on the most recent um, video and stuff. So yeah, just uh, keep that in mind when you're spending your crystals. Uh, of course, we are going to get the trio to dangers. Um, that's going to be coming soon, probably next month uh, at some point, and it will probably be another um, Legends All Star banner, um, which is going to be pretty interesting to see how they do that because it's going to be three new units on that banner, and I think that is going to be very tempting to summon on because they're going to be very, very good units. They might complete the powerful opponent team. They might start the universal, uh, the universe survival arc team. They might start a Universe 9 team. We, you know, we're gonna have to wait and see. But I'm really hyped for those three, and uh, it's gonna be hard for me to not spend my crystals on those. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna be doing, as you see there, there is a Zenkai 3 Raditz. This is really easy, guys. I mean, <laughs> if only every Zenkai unit was this easy to get to Zenkai 7. Um, but there we go. We get the card sleeves as well. I think here, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. So, um, very very easy stuff, as you can see. A unit that's definitely worth grinding up and he is a very good unit in battle the best extreme by far better than red gogeta and just so you see his stats at um at 14 stars without being soul boosted at all he is uh he's sitting pretty high not equipment sorry he's sitting very very high in my character list box as you can see here he's uh he's down here and um this isn't soul boosted so the fact that he's sitting there uh, at 300, 1.32 1, 1. million is uh, is very very good because um, yeah it takes a lot to be high up in my box. You have to be at a lot of stars and you have to be a very good unit. There's only one other extreme in here, which is a uh, Ginyu, who is a very very good extreme. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy that they've done this. I do recommend, like I said, everyone grind this guy up and let me know your thoughts of him down below. If you do have any other questions, um, you know, on whether you should be trying to get these hybrid Saiyans or you know any tips on grinding anything else just uh, ask me down in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible either with a, uh, a video or an answer or whatever you guys want uh, so yeah that's pretty much been that I do hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you next time peace